The van driver was speeding, trying to make it home to catch the latest DDS TV video, but failed miserably as he sandwiched himself between two cars. He claims that his brakes locked up, which caused him to do this. If you look closely, the camera had a green light, which means he had the right of way. The Mustang driver had a yield light, but failed to yield to oncoming traffic. Thankfully, no one was injured, but unfortunately, both cars got totaled. The maroon SUV driver was honked at because he failed to yield and drove off, causing the camera to nearly hit him. He honked back despite being in the wrong. I guess I could do this tribute later, like tomorrow. Sure. I got some good clips. Today's the actual 30th anniversary. Yeah. The SUV driver admitted he was on his phone, which meant he was distracted. That distraction caused him to run into the turning car and was found at fault. The Chevy Coupe driver blew past the stop sign and T-boned the Nissan. He then earned himself some hit and run charges for driving off. The police caught him a few miles away and he was ticketed and was found at fault. The Nissan driver failed to completely stop at the stop sign and yield to oncoming traffic. Thanks to dashcam footage, the Nissan driver was found at fault. The truck driver was driving the opposite direction, causing a huge hazard for himself and others. Thankfully, there was a cop car a few cars behind, which stopped the truck before any accidents happened. After nearly a year and seven months of fighting this one, the camera finally got his insurance payout. The camera had the right of way, whereas the turning driver did not. The pedestrian ran out in front of moving traffic and got hit, and broke the camera's windshield in the process. Surprisingly, paramedics saw that he only had a twisted ankle. Insurance paid for the new windshield. The camera had a yellow light, whereas the turning Mazda driver had a red. The Mazda driver tried to claim that the camera blew past the red, but dashcam footage proved otherwise. The Mazda driver was found at fault.
The dash cam makes things appear farther than they actually are. The truck driver barely had any room merging into the camera's lane. Had the camera not braked, an accident would have occurred. The Honda driver was going way too fast and slammed into the Geico car. Instead of pulling over and doing the right thing, he decided to drive off earning himself some hit and run charges. It's never worth it to commit a hit and run. The sedan driver did a double lane change which caused the small pickup truck driver to swerve, lose control and then hit the other sedan. Thankfully, there was a cop that was conveniently placed. Mm -hmm. 